Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a Scentworks Homeworks Slacken haul for you guys, whatever you want to call it. So recently they had a big sale on their website. I will be transparent with you guys, these did hit over my sweet spot of what I like to pay for candles. So typically, I don't like to spend any more than $10 per candle. These were on sale for $18. There was another 25% off. I paid right around $13 per candle, which is an excellent, excellent price for Scentworks. So first and foremost, let me apologize to you guys. I know my video quality is not the greatest. I am filming in my living room and the blowout from the lights if I sit in front of my candle showcase is just glaring and other than that we don't have a whole lot of light in our living room so let me jump in and get started I do have a total of nine candles to share with you guys I went a little bit crazy these are all fall winter fragrances I love this time of year this time of year can do no wrong. Before I start with the fragrances, let me tell you a little bit about what I'm actually burning today. So I have the Yankee Candle Boo Nana Toffee going in my living room. And I have to say, my disdain for it has not changed. I am not a fan of the Boo Nana Toffee. I have a Aldi Pumpkin Candle going in my kitchen and then upstairs i have bath and body works emerald aisle going i have not changed my warmers yet for the day but i am going to change those over to pumpkin banana bread from bhg so now let's go ahead and hop into the hall and see what i got first one i have here is fall chrysanthemum uh, i know i butchered that name so packaging looks like that. It has mums on it. It is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, so sorry about the lighting. It is not picking up how beautiful these jars are. These are the large four wicks. The fragrance notes on this one is carnation, jasmine, white birch, and violet leaves. Oh, I like that a lot. I definitely think that this is going to be an upstairs bedroom burn or a bathroom burn for me because these are the kind of fragrances I like upstairs. This is a beautiful floral. I definitely feel like the carnation and jasmine shine through the most on this fragrance. All in all, I am pretty happy with this purchase. So I'm not grabbing these in any particular order. The next one is Vanilla Orchard Crisp. So the label has what looks like an apple crisp. I actually made an apple crisp yesterday and I took it down to my father-in-law's house. I made dinner for there. Everybody loved it, of course. So vanilla orchard crisp. The scent notes on this one are farm stand cider, brown sugar, vanilla buttercream, and cinnamon stick. That sounds absolutely phenomenal. So when I make my apple crisp, I use Granny Smith apples and I put in a little bit of cornstarch and with the apples, I put in cinnamon, a boatload of sugar, and I always serve my apple crumble with a vanilla ice cream. For the crumb top, I end up doing a brown sugar mixed with like butter and cinnamon and a few other things. If I remember, I will link the recipe I use for my apple crumble below. Oh, this is beautiful. A nice blend of vanilla and apple. A little bit on the subdued side. It smells like it's going to be a medium thrower. But that apple and vanilla is phenomenal. I do wish that there was a little bit more spice in there with like some cinnamon. But nonetheless, I am pretty happy with this scent. So next up is one of the Halloween scents. And this is Witch's Bell. It's done in purple. We all know I love purple. This one does have a black lid on it. Scent description on this one is black apple. I don't even know what a black apple is. Autumn pear and cinnamon caramel. Based on those notes, I'm like, oh, that's going to be right up my alley. And I don't know. I'm on the fence with it. It kind of... <laughs> It kind of smells 
smells like the um, pellets that I buy for my rabbit mixed with apple. So it smells like rabbit pellets and apple. Definitely looking to see how this ends up smelling burning. So I guess it would smell like Timothy hay. So if you've ever smelled Timothy hay, it smells like Timothy hay and apple. Not the biggest fan on that one. Next one, this has been on my list and it's not even a fall fragrance, not even a Christmas scent. This is just like one of their everyday scents. I've always wanted to try Pear Blossom. The price was right, so I went ahead and I jumped on it. I thought that this would be a beautiful bedroom or bathroom burn for me. Fragrance notes are Pear, Carmelia, Blossom, Water, Lily, and Peach. Or Water, Lily as one word. Water, Lily, and Peach. Oh, yes. I love scents like this. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Bath & Body Works Pearberry. If you ever smelled Pearberry from Bath & Body Works, this smells a lot like that. If they made this in a perfume, shower gel, lotion, if you're listening, scent works, I would definitely buy it. This is going to be a beautiful spa-like, fresh, aquatic, floral scent, and I love scents like that. So we have five more scents left. The next one, oh, this has been on my list a while too, and this is more of a summery scent. So I shouldn't even call this the fall or winter haul. This is apricot, nectar, and wild berry. I'm like, oh, that has to be like super fruit punchy. That's gonna be right up my alley. So scent description is apricot, nectar, fresh picked strawberries, wild blueberry, and whipped cream. I wanted to see if this would knock my favorite Yankee Candle Tutti Frutti out of its top spot because I love scents like that. So I've definitely smelled this before. The um, peach nectar comes out very strong. It reminds me, it honestly reminds me of Bath & Body Works Market Peach. I feel like the peach is a very, very predominant note. And it's actually apricot nectar, but it comes off as peach. It smells a lot like Bath & Body Works Market Peach. So if you're a fan of it, definitely check this one out. Not disappointed by any means, but also just not anything special when it comes to that fragrance. Next up, we have your Harvest Leaves. Very, very pretty burgundy color with uh, some leaves on the label. Scent description on this one is Spiced Pumpkin, Mandarin, Cranberry, Fir Balsam, and Applewood. I will say the Fir Balsam has me a little nervous because I don't do good with those balsam green scents. Oh, that is heavenly. So this actually reminds me a lot of Scentsy Breakfast in Bed. I don't know if that scent came back this year, but I have it in melts. And I know that I will definitely be pairing those melts with this candle because I think that will be the perfect trio. This is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I love it. I feel like there's a bakery note in there that is not listed on the candle. And I don't really get that balsam note, which is really good to know for me. Three more candles left. We have a Christmas one here. This is Cranberry Cocktail. So I have a hard time buying Christmas scents because I don't really like vanilla scents. So I don't go towards sugar cookie. I also don't like those balsam and pine scents, so I don't go that route. So I usually go the cranberry route when it comes to Christmas fragrances. Scent description on this is crushed cranberries, black currant, iced peach, and sugared musk. Now that sounds divine. Okay, so it definitely smells like a scent that I bought recently from Yankee, one of like the cranberry spritzers or something like that. I definitely get like a cranberry champagne note in it. So I mean, based on the name, I guess that would be suiting because it is called cranberry cocktail. It definitely smells like a cranberry cocktail, but I'm definitely not picking up that like sugared musk in it. I'm definitely getting like the fruits with a splash of champagne. 
So this is another year round scent. I figured this would be a good upstairs burn. This is Coastal Water Lily. I've had this one on my list for a while too. Decided to spring and go ahead and buy it. Label is absolutely beautiful with those water lilies on it. Scent description, water lily, pink jasmine, white peony, and peach blossom. Once again, this scent sounds right up my alley. These are the kind of fragrances I actually like to wear in perfume. And yes, I feel like I have a perfume very similar to this. It kind of smells like Fleur Missing Person, which also reminds me of White Musk. I definitely think that this is very heavy on the musk and obviously the white floral. More of just a traditional lily scent, not an aquatic water lily fragrance. I will say that I do like it, but if I had to pick between the... Um, pear blossom and the water lily i would go with the pear blossom so last but not least is cinnamon apple honey so just based on this one i thought it would smell a lot like swan creek honey soaked apples which i love and adore for this time of year scent notes are harvest apple cinnamon stick clover honey and autumn berries Ooh, some berries in it Oh my gosh. So does it smell like honey soaked apples? Absolutely not. This smells like apple and cinnamon. It smells like a Bath and Body Works scent that I've had in the past. I'm trying to pinpoint which one that it smells like. Very, very heavy on the cinnamon. Like this is the epitome of fall fragrances. This was a great buy. So all in all, I am really happy with my Homeworks Scentworks haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.